Okay, Cindy Lou, I'm going in. I'm going in. Step your back off. <laughs> back off. Come on, let me get you your water. That's how cold it is, you guys. I got two pails I swap. That won't melt until, well, let's see. Yeah, she's solid today. She's, oh no, she's not. Oh, there we go. It wasn't completely froze, but I got two pails I swap. Okay, let's go get the other pail. Okay, I wanted to show you this because, uh, just so you learn, ducks, look at that's frozen. That food's frozen. They eat water, they eat food and water, food and water, food and water. Their water is always dirty. And uh, that that's how cold it is. The food froze because they, they put their water in the food and they mix it up. That's how ducks eat, ducks eat. Got a fresh pail of water here for Jethro. And I gotta get him fresh food. Cindy, you're not staying out today. It's too cold. Give me a minute. This is uh, this is uh, Zen's leftover seeds. I give her, and I'm gonna give her mealworms and regular food. Okay, I'm gonna close that door there, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave her out today. It's too cold. Come on, girlfriend. Here we go. Here you are. Okay. There you go. She got fresh water. She got mixture of uh, oyster shells and grab um, grit and all kinds of stuff there. I might bring her another treat tonight, but if not, she's good till tomorrow. Tomorrow you can come out, baby girl. It'll be warmer tomorrow. Look at the egg. got her heat lamp right under her food. She's got her heater in the corner there. Petro also has a heater in his cubby hole, but he likes to sit up there. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a heater where he goes in at night. Okay, Jetro. 
I'll be back later to put the other panel up to keep you warm tonight. This darn weather. I had to come in for a minute. Then we're going to feed, fill up the bird feeders. They need food too. My glasses are fogging up. Oh, she's cold. I'm going to leave you guys in the house. Okay. Okay, you guys. Let's make our um, chicken pot pie soup. I got a blob of butter in there. And then I'm going to put my onions, my celery, and my corn in there. And we're going to give that, a, we're going to cook that up for a bit. Okay. I'll be back once we get going here. While that gets going, I'm going to cut up this broccoli into smaller pieces. In the carrots, I'm going to cut some of them in half because I like a smaller vegetable. I don't like a big chunk of vegetables. I like them like for pot pie. I don't want them real thick. You want them cut them in half. Now you could use carrot sticks. Just cut them. Okay. I'm going to make uh, red lobster biscuits to go with this. Yeah. Okay, let me bring you back over here. You're gonna saute these vegetables till till they're uh, till the onions, you know, are are soft. Now, if you're not using the cream soup, add some salt and pepper in right here. I'm using this cream soup, and I know it's pretty salty, so I might save my salt and pepper to the end when I taste it. Ooh, the aroma smells so good. Now I'm going to add my carrots and my broccoli. And that's frozen, so that's got to be sauteed down a bit. I think I'm going to be able to uh, freeze some of this soup, which will be nice to fill up the freezer with a little bit of soup in there. I want to make some potato soup too and freeze that. Okay. Got all that in there. We're going to saute that up for a few minutes. You guys see okay? <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to add the potatoes. This is so easy. And the chicken. Also, if you want, you could put this right into a pie shell for chicken pot pie. That's another thing. I was actually going to make chicken pot pie, but my back is sore today. So, I needed something a little easier. Okay. If you see the potatoes are a little big, just must cut them in half with your, with your spatula. Okay, let's give this a good mix. Look at all that goodness in there. <laughs> okay, we're going to put our blocks of broth in there. 
<laughs> to start melting down. Turn it down. Okay. Then I'm putting all this goodness in there. Darn tootin'. Darn tootin' fruitin'. Yes, I am. Right, Coconut? Okay. Then next, I know, I know, it's the canned. If you don't want to use canned soup, use, uh, after this is all melted down, I would, I would use, um, heavy cream. But I want to get rid of this shit. Yeah, shit, it's in the can. It's salty and, yeah, it's not the best. But got a purpose in a lot of recipes so this one's cream of broccoli I'm putting in here that's the last of the cream of broccoli this one is cream of celery I put a little bit of water in here too in these cans just to get all the stuff out Okay. Oh, my back sore. Okay, I want to grab some uh, chicken bowls in. Chicken bowls in. Uh. And put a little bit of that in a few tables, teaspoons, a few teaspoons. We get it here. Go go back up. Bolin. This is good stuff. This amazing stuff here. Yeah. Okay, put a few scoops of that in there. That'll make it so tasty. Okay, we're going to let this broth melt down a bit, and I'll show you when I get it in a nice little simmer. Okay, I got it to a nice boil, then I put it down to simmer. And uh, I'm going to just let it boil gently for about 10-15 minutes. Then turn the heat right off and let it sit on the stove. This crock pot, this not a crock pot, no, nothing close to a crock pot. This Dutch oven will keep it cooking for a while, so mm. I don't need any salt, but I'm going to put some pepper in there. Mm -hmm. Let's go have some chips. And uh, what do I got? I got a, uh, oh, what do you call it? Hummus. Yeah, I got hummus. Okay, I moved it to the back. I turned it off. I'm going to let it sit. It's not dinner yet. It'll be a while for, before dinner. If it's not creamy enough for me, I'll, I'll thicken it up a bit with um, some cornstarch and water. And then uh, we're going to make biscuits to go with it. And we're going to put a little bit of bacon on top and cheese. It's going to be so good. But right now, let's go sit down and have some chips and hummus. Okay, I bought these a while ago at the gas station, maybe the entire gas station. And they're like veggie sticks, but they're like uh, chili lime. Yeah. See, people think when I shop and buy all kinds of stuff that we... Some, some people think we eat it all in a week. We don't. <clears throat> This is um, roasted garlic hummus. I wanted the dill pickle, but I couldn't find it. 
<laughs> you were crooked. I had to fix you. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's cook these and try. Oh, it's upside down. That's the same name as those chips I bought yesterday in the haul. Okay. Let's give them a try. Mmm. <laughs> mm. My back is sore, you guys. Sorry, but I gotta lean back. Ah, oh, it's better. <laughs> sore back today. Let's try one with no hummus. Mmm. Those are good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're good. There's something about them. See how they got a hole in the middle? Mmm. Mm-hmm. A 10 out of 10. Oh, my back is sore. Oh. I recommend them. <laughs> I've only seen them at the gas station, though. Always when you're out getting gas... Go inside the gas station to pay and take a look around. Mm -hmm. Those are... Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Double thumbs up for those. I've started my new book. If my back's not too sore, I might do a whole different video telling you about my other book. Where did I put it? The one I just read. Now there'll be spoiler alerts. That way, if you don't want to if you're reading the book or you don't want to find out what happens, you don't have to watch the video, right? Mm -hmm. But a lot of my subscribers, they don't read and some of them have a hard time seeing. So they like to hear me tell stories. So yeah, I think I'll do that. I was going to do my puzzle, but my back is sore. So I'll be doing, I'll be eating my chicken pot pie soup and telling you about this book. I'm going to go read my book here. I'm hooked on these books. And I'll be back when it, it's time to thicken up the chicken pot pie soup. Ah! Okay, I'm just going to thicken it up a bit. It looks green because of the broccoli. Yeah, but I promise you that's why. Yeah. I got a little bit of cornstarch here in water. It's going to make a slurry. When it comes to boiling, I'll, I'll slurry it up. It's almost there. Okay. So 
So I'll thicken it up a little bit. Make it like a pot pie. You know what I mean? And I'm going to freeze some of it to make pot pies with. So maybe a little bit more. That should be good. It should start thickening it up now. I can feel it already thickening up. Yeah, now I'm gonna make my biscuits. My red lobster biscuits here. And then we'll have some dinner. Okay, turn that day out. Okay, I'll be back when I get it all done. Okay, there's my bowl. And I'll put cheese in banking on Bruce's when he gets home. Oh, I almost forgot the biscuit. The biscuit on there. There we go. That's pot pie soup. Okay, I, I'm not going to do a video with my book today because my back is sore. I'm going to watch YouTube and i got a few dishes left to clean up. So I'm going to call it a night. Give this a try, you guys. The leftovers you can put in the freezer and make real pot pie. Chicken pot pie. Yes. It's green because there was a broccoli I put in. You don't have to put broccoli. You can put any vegetables you want in. Every vegetable works. Yes. Nate's going to eat all those biscuits. I know he is. <laughs> Good night, everyone.